Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to make freeform sculptures from several pieces of paper that I've cut out. I have a square, a rectangle, and a triangle. And I'd like to show you a very simple way of doing this. This can be used in a larger sculpture, or it could just be a sculpture on its own. The way you do this, you fold it in half, but don't press hard in case you don't want to actually use that fold. And just cut any way you feel you want to, but don't cut through to the end. I'm actually going to go opposite ways on this. So one is going this way, one curve, and another curve that way. And then here, I'm going to put a little triangle. Then open it and make a decision which way you want to fold this. So what I'm going to do, this seems to want to go that way for sure. And I'm going to bring this one back in the other direction, like that. And then... I'll do the same here and make them go opposite each other. So if this one is folding out, I'm going to fold this one back. And then I'm going to just squeeze them together and kind of make this interesting thing that's happening here. It's really pretty. Look at that. It's very pretty, and I think that I could make it stand up. Just sort of pinching it like that. There you go. See that? That's how it looks there, in that direction. I'll turn it, and then make it go in this direction. So that's how one came out. Let's see if we could do a different one now. We'll lay this down over here. Try a triangle, something different. I'm going to fold it. And just cut out a simple shape. But I'm not going to cut all the way through. So I don't want to lose that piece. And now I'll just make a curved shape over here. And one more. Let's see what happens when I open it. What my choices are. Oh, this is kind of interesting. How about if I take this piece, pull it up here, and fold it like that. And then these pieces, what if I was to just tape those down like that? It looks almost like somebody praying. Look at that. Very nice. All right. I like that one a lot. I'll just give that a little tape. And this one a little tape. Beautiful. Make sure you can see that. There you go. And here, this part looks like it has feet. I can make those pop up a little bit. It's just totally by accident. There you go. Here's another one, like I said. And that sort of stands up by itself. I think I would fold it back a little just for the balance. There you go. And then the last one, this one. Again, it will be a surprise. I'll fold it in here. Yeah. 
looks almost like a wine glass shape. Now I'll go the opposite way over here. And the opposite way over here. Pretty symmetrical, this one. Open it. Let's see what happens. Okay. This part will have pop up. This part I'm going to bring back. This is up. This one's backwards. And now, that's kind of pretty too. Look at that. And I have to decide how I would like this to stand. If it will stand. What happens if I hold it here? Nope, I don't think so. But that's very pretty. I think it just needs to pinch in the middle. And that could get hung up. Look at that. So that's how you do these freeform sculptures. I'll turn it around so you can see different ways. It's the different views. And you could have a lot of fun with that. Okay. All right. Enjoy.